Neuroi more poll signals significant shift in Senate election. A CBS News and YouGov poll published Sunday shows that the majority of Alabama Republicans do not believe the sexual misconduct allegations levied against Republican Senate candidate Troy Moore. According to the poll, which was conducted from November 28 through December 1, 71% of likely voters stated that they found the allegations against Moore to be false. 92% of Republicans who don't believe the allegations blame Democrats for the charges and 88% cited media as a driving force behind the allegations. This is in stark contrast to only 17% of likely voters who claim to believe the allegations. 53% of Alabama Republican voters stated that the allegations are concerning, but other issues take precedent when deciding who they will cast their vote for. According to The Hill, Moore has a six-point lead over Democrat Doug Jones. 49% to 43%, among voters expected to vote during the December 12 election. Poll numbers also revealed that only 9% of Republican voters said they would cast their ballot for Jones. However the race is still close as the contest is virtually even among all registered voters, and 12% of Republican voters stated that they could still change their minds before December 12. CBS News reported that 49% of more voters say their vote will be cast in support of President Donald Trump. Trump backed Moore and slammed Jones in November, tweeting that Jones is a puppet who is the last thing we need in the U.S. Senate. The last thing we need in Alabama and the U.S. Senate is a Schumer, Pelosi puppet who is weak on crime, weak on the border, bad for our military and our great vets, bad for our Second Amendment and wants to raise us taxes to the sky. Jones would be a disaster. Trump wrote. The poll comes at a critical time for Moore and Jones, as the two are less than two weeks away from learning who will be elected to represent Alabama in the Senate. The results are especially critical for Moore, who has found himself embroiled in a multitude of sexual misconduct allegations over the past month. In November, the Washington Post released a story where a woman named Lee Korfman alleged that Moore had sexually abused her when she was 14 years old, and he was 32. The report also alleged that Moore had engaged in promiscuous acts with girls ranging from ages 16 to 18. Then, another accuser named Beverly Young Nelson, alleged that Moore initiated sexual contact with her when she was 17 and Moore was 30. Nelson alleged that Moore had offered to give her a ride home from the Oldie Hickory House restaurant in Gadsden, Alabama, in 1977. However, Moore allegedly parked his car behind a dumpster and groped Nelson, according to a report from the Birmingham News. In November, Nelson displayed a yearbook she claims Moore signed as evidence of her supposed relationship with him. Moore has denied all allegations of sexual misconduct, conduct, 